Capture the, the sign right here, the CG4X. That's the new model of Toyota, the Toyota vehicle. Okay, welcome to the Toyota BZ4X. Um, this vehicle, when the technique, it just came out. It's a 2024. It's all electric, no gas. And the great thing is, you don't have to worry about maintenance. Because you don't have to change the oil. It's not an engine, it's all electric. Uh, it does come with a two year uh, factory warranty. That does your tire rotation and any adjustments that you need. And it's all inclusive on this great deal that we just got. This particular vehicle right now, if you go to your Toyota store, if they still have them, you can get this car for $199, no money down, for 36 months. It's an awesome deal. This comes with a, a panoramic sunroof. It's all, let me just get it here. Talk about a view. Look at look us up on top of here. A panoramic sunroof from one from the front to the end. I so, didn't even notice I had this. Yeah, this is fantastic. As you can see the display over here, we have a, a navigation. Uh, you got series. You have a Bluetooth. You have a lot of devices on here that you, you you can use. And not only that, if you open this button here, guess what we have here? A little storage room, or you could just. Drop your phone in there and, and charge it. Automatic charger. You put also right here and then and close it and it'll charge by itself. How do you like the display? Display, you got a beautiful display right there. Tells you how much electricity you have. When you need electricity, you go down to the your nearest uh, C station and charge it up. It takes about 20 minutes to charge 80%, which is pretty much like 190 miles. Or if you, if you want a full charge, you can get up to 251 miles. So it's a very good deal, depending where you're going. You have access to a lot of nice things, on, on safety features on this vehicle. You have blind spot monitors. You have cruise control adapt. That means it will follow the line. All you do is push the button here. Also have voice command here. So if you want to just say, uh, I'll, I'll find the nearest station for you. How would a customer use this? This right here is your transmission. Uh, all you have to do is push down and then put it on drive and you're ready to go forward. As you see, it's telling you there's a car in front of you, so be careful. Okay? And then you go to reverse and it has a backup camera, which is very important. As you see, you have a, a bird's eye view of it as well. And then if you push this button here, put it apart and it goes and uh, it just stops the car. Or you could turn off the car too. Are you used to this mechanisms versus the traditional? Yeah, this is easy to get used to. It, it, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the, you know, dropping it into gear or anything. It's just turning it. Now, right now, everybody's going to this new uh, mode or transmission, even in gas. How do you like the steering wheel layout? I like it's very comfortable. Uh, you could tilt the steering wheel up and down. You could push in, pull out. So it's kind of comfortable. Do you like the thickness of it? Yes. And the button layout? Oh yeah, button's easy. easy. Everything's easy to use. You, this is for your phone. Uh, this is right here. You can change uh, your trip thermometer. Play. Then you can say, who won yesterday's game on the 49ers? Sorry, this feature... Is this connected to your Toyota or your iPhone? Huh? Is this connected to the iPhone? Yeah, you can connect your iPhone. It, it tells you everything's voice activation, which is nice. Also have your speakers right here. It's very easy to get to. You have a light right here. You got mirrors right here. Does this go to the side? Oh yes, it does. And then it also has an extension. What do these do up here? Uh, this right here is for the light to come on. 
this right here to turn all the lights on this right here is in case you get in a car accident you can call uh, 911 mm -hmm. you also can open the trunk from here and we hatch see back and then you can close it it's just a uh, decoration and that's it what are other features that you like about this vehicle the nice feature is that you don't have to go to the gas station and gas up you know you just drive mm -hmm. right now Toyota is offering one year of free electric so you don't have to even worry about it for the next year like I said it's a lease the residual on this right now at the end of the lease is 20,000 which is fantastic it's uh you, you know you're not gonna find a, a car for 20,000 that has all these features in and I tell you they have a lot of safety features this has uh, over 10 airbags uh, curtain airbags side airbags it has knee airbags you're well protected the most important part they have sensors on the front of the car and back of the car so you won't get in an accident and it alerts you if there's a car behind you or a person so you won't be hitting anybody or any injuring anybody because you have all these sensors on the vehicle would this be a safe compared to a regular Toyota such as a RAV4 yeah you know, safety is, you know, one of Toyota's uh, number one thing. Everybody has safety. You know, you're looking for a safety car, Honda or Toyota, they look out for safety. Sun glare for this. If you're looking at this in the sun, is it? No, it doesn't. It, 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 it stays like the same. Yeah. You have a, a good a video of it. Do you miss the digital display or, uh, over the analog? No. I like this display. You took this on a long trip to SoCal. Over the seats? Very and the charging, tell me about the charging. The, the is seat? it convenient to charge this vehicle? Um, were you comfortable while you're driving this vehicle? Oh yeah, very, very comfortable. You offers very good comfort. And uh, like I said, you know, uh, it's like anything else. If you go fast, money costs, you know, how fast you want to go. So, you know, if you, if, and same thing with the electricity. If you sip on the car, it's going to have more electricity. Overall, the car is a great car. First year of Toyota, they give you free electricity. You can use those as much as you want. Does this vehicle have a frunk? A trunk? A frunk. A front trunk? <laughs> no, I'll show you. I'll show you. That's the, the engine for electric cars. It's all electric. This is an engine? Mm-hmm. Not, not an engine, it's all your electric for your uh, car. It's a totally different device. How is this different from a Tesla? Pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, like you see all this orange, it's all your electrical. This operates in electric. When, when you, you, you'll enjoy the vehicle, it does have uh, windshield wipers. You're gonna need windshield wiper fluid. You know, stuff like anything else. You have a brake fluid. What are these different fluids? Yeah, these are different fluids for your air conditioning. Oh wow. Yeah. So, this is pink, orange. Yeah, and yellow. Yeah. Yellow is for your uh, brake fluid. And then you got blue right here for, for your windshield wiper. Why do you need this battery if it has, does it have other batteries in the back? Uh, the, ba the other batteries are underneath the car. This right here is like a regular battery to kick up the regular car. Right? I never knew this had a motor, yeah? Yeah. I thought it was empty. No, it, this one is electric. Yeah. It, it's not like a piston or mm -hmm. anything like that. How is there rear space in this vehicle? Rear space is very comfortable. What about the lights? Are the lights and the, the handling good while you're driving it? Oh yeah, very good. It's nice and smooth? Very smooth. Do you ever need the high beams on this vehicle? Uh, the high beams come on automatically. It knows when you need them. Are you satisfied with these tires? Yep, the traction? Very, tire. very, very, very smooth ride. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got mud guards as well. Uh, you can see in the back. My grandson's car seat is in the back. Mm -hmm. it's very comfortable. Is it spacious for adults, do you think? Oh, very spacious. Let me get you in here. See how, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". Yeah, that's pretty good for 5'10". Yeah. How's the headroom? A lot of headroom. And I get to see the sky. <laughs> and a lot of cup holders, too. You even have some right here, too. In the middle. Right here. Mm -hmm. 
That comes with tent stock, right? Yep, tents. It all comes from the main factory. Is it easy to charge this vehicle? Do they have a lot of stations? Yeah, they have a lot of stations. You know, it takes about 20 minutes to charge it up, 80%, mm -hmm. and about maybe an, an hour to get it, everything going. Is this spacious? Oh, very spacious. Let me show you. Right now, I have my... Uh... How's the rear camera? Right there. Is it clear? Yeah, it shows up on the... Yeah, I showed you on the screen. And the back seat pulled down, so if you have more, and um, it comes with this cargo cover, right? Right, it does come with the cargo cover. <laughs> can you tell me about accessories that a customer can purchase? Additional services? There's not much left that you need on this car as far as accessories, because mm -hmm. it comes with the mud. You add the mud guards, but that's the only thing you, you want to add. It already comes with a spoiler. It comes with a. You can put a luggage rack on top, but you don't really need it because it's glass. So you wouldn't want it. How quiet is this vehicle while you're driving it? Very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta come down and check them out and see what you think. Do you like the steering compared to a traditional vehicle? Oh yeah, it's the same thing. It yeah. Handles very well. Like I said, this is if you uh, don't use the blinker and you try to get over to the uh, to the lane, it won't allow you. It keep you in the lane and think that you're falling asleep on the wheel. It's called lane assist. Okay? It's a fantastic car. I appreciate your time. Today is Sunday, I know. Uh, there's a lot of car shopping, but if you're interested in a car that doesn't cost too much, this is the right car to come out and take a look at it, Toyota. Tell them Oscar sent you. What's the difference between this vehicle and a Subaru? Subaru, I would recommend the Toyota because you have a bigger screen than the Subaru. All vehicles are pretty much the same nowadays. I like to trash anybody else's car, but it's preference, and I think you'll find more preference on the t And it's easy to, to charge up. Right here is the charger. All you have to do is push the button here, and open these right here, and voila. What's the difference between these two? Um, you use all three of them to get the heavy charge. You use the bottom two to uh, do the overcharge at your home. What are the options for if you're charging at home, if you did the 120 versus the 240? It just takes longer, yeah. but that is, you know, I mean, you pull it in your garage, just put it on, you know, you're gonna you know, sleep, by the time you wake up, the car's gonna be fully charged. Does it come with cables, or yeah. are there additional accessories to charge the vehicle? No, it comes with a charger system. It's in a box. But, uh, I'm gonna unbox my charger. What are the pros and cons to going to a station and charging versus to charge it at home? Well, the nice thing about charging at home, you know, um, convenience. And there's your charger right here. It's easy. It's a Toyota charger and you just plug it into your your house. And that's it. You could plug it in your 120. You could uh, upgrade your, like your washing machine, you go to 220. What are the differences between charging at home and charging at a station? Uh, the difference is they have more, more, they have more electricity going out in your house. Two twenty. You said it, it takes twenty minutes to charge to eighty. It takes twenty minutes to get you up to eighty percent. Why? Why doesn't a customer charge to hundred percent? They do. Only if you want to go on a long trip. You don't have to charge it. You know, a hundred percent because. You're, you're just doing around town. But if you're gonna go like from here to Napa, you wanna charge full time, mm -hmm. you get depending on how fast you go or what do you do with the vehicle, uh, it depends if you have enough electricity. How yeah. fast do you normally drive on the highway? Well, you do your normal 65 miles an hour or you could do your normal 
70 to 80 miles an hour. Obviously, you're, you're, you're risking to get a ticket if you're going that fast. But a lot now and days, everybody goes pretty much that fast. Well, if you're doing 65 versus 75, how does that affect your battery drain usage? It's, it's just like your gas. You know, what happens when you hit 80 miles a gallon and, and versus 65? You save more c c gas, and this way you'll save your electricity. It's the same method. I really think you should come out and look at one of these vehicles. It's future. If you're looking for something in the future, this is the car you're going to be driving. And right now it's the right time to come out. You got three years, no money down, and 99 a month. Best deal in town, right? You can't beat it. <laughs> come buy a Toyota or Honda. You'll, and uh, see Oscar at Morgan Hill, Honda.